Okay guys, uh, next day, um, these little solar lights, this is literally how I lit the place up at the uh, Chevron Ray last weekend. Cheap and easy, I found them in the garden. <laughs> and there's solar panels, hey presto. Um, right, so I've just done a little bit more clearing. Um, I got caught last night because I had to go out somewhere. Um, I've actually found the paint that was used to paint this thing in the cupboard. It's just disgusting looking at it in the pots as it is on the walls. Look, it's horrible. So yeah. Uh, they're not going anywhere near this caravan again. They're coming out the caravan and staying that way. So if anyone out there wants some free paint, um, some hideous pink, some hideous green, uh, any other colours? Pink, green, white, possibly some blue. I can't remember. But if anyone wants fun for free, yeah, yeah, you can pretty much take it. I really don't care. It's horrible. So it's not going anywhere near this caravan again. Um, but yeah, been through that. Got it all cleared. Um, now... I know I said that I wasn't going to do anything um, else before um, before um, wasn't, I've got a car show in two weeks time Osa Retro I was aiming to hopefully take this with the BX because why the hell wouldn't you do that um, because it's retro as hell so it seems like the obvious thing to do <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna, what I was gonna do was not start taking it apart yet, but I'm getting bored, so um, that's kind of gone a bit south. Um, yeah, this is the front wall. Hey, hey the red lighting came on, sweet. Um, so yeah, what we've got is I'm trying to basically fathom out how blooming low down the issue goes. As you can see, though, um, this bit is very blindingly obviously rotten as a pear. Um, so indefinitely that bit there somehow got to be taken out. Not entirely sure how you do that just yet. Hey, hang on. Right, let's try that again, Joey. So, started picking at it because, uh, yeah, impatient and all that, and bored. Um, so as we can see, uh, if we pop this horrific curtain down as well, um, that bit there's certainly gone for a fact. Um, these rubbers are really stubborn to move at all, but yeah, as you can see, that is definitely rotten work on that beam. But on the other hand, though, it only seems to be this bottom edge that's really gone. And that bit's very obviously. There we go. There we go. Let's do all right. Yeah. Got a bit of a sore shoulder, so I can't um, put pressure and push outwards. It's just not happening. But yeah. Um, so yeah, that bit, that bit's okay, which is really bizarre. Um, where's my screwdriver gone? There it is. Uh, so we pop that off. Hopefully it hasn't been painted in place, which I think I've just discovered it has been, which is just bloody annoying. Yeah. Right, okay. Can I get enough pressure to get that volumin thing to come off, I do not know. Ugh, there we go. Nope, I ain't budging. Oh, so that's going to be a fun one. Can I just pull it? Maybe. Or oh, probably just pull the entire thing off the wall because, oh dear, at this rate it's probably going to be that way, I think. I wonder if I pull on it like that. Can I get the pressure to make it come undone a little bit? Oh, oh, no. No, that's going to round off very beautifully because it's annoying. Okay, pull that backwards out of the way. Stuff it. Uh, exactly how the hell is that held up? <coughs> God, yeah, it's very dusty here. But you get the general gist, so um, basically you want to pull that out of position. Yeah, that. but that we knew that was never going to survive. Right, that's quite useful actually, because as I said a second ago, the only bit of that bit there that is actually your problem is actually the bottom half, so it's... <coughs> Further suggesting that... Um, <coughs> Because that <coughs> is that 
Yeah, that's because that fairy stuff is um, loft insulation. Um, that's a very good point, actually. Oh, God. That might be worth checking. Is that their asbestos? That could be very worth checking out, actually, because I don't honestly know. It's fibery, fiberglass, fibery bits of, well, basically, it's like fiberglass. Um, yeah, it's probably worth checking that, because, um, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have thought it would have been used in caravan, caravan walls, but on the same score, um, when you don't know no different, and you're using it for basically just about everything else. Ow! Yeah, that was bad. Don't get splinters. That blooming hurts. So it's rotten, but yet it's still strong enough to splinter you nicely. Ideal! Not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that should be fun. So yeah, so far what we've worked out is um, this bit of wood is definitely quite dead, I'm going to say, because it's um, definitely soaked on the back side, as you can see. Um, structure going downwards. Now, fair enough, the bit where you see the paint off of there, that's actually how the inside's supposed to look. It shouldn't have paint on the inside of it, which is quite a bit of a shame it's been done. Um, so yeah. Um, it's good that what you can see though is the fact that below there is no sort of evidence if you like of water which is good so yeah but essentially you've got an aluminium frame that's sealed up and over our edges and then this stuff here just effectively just stuck to it well not even stuck to it actually by the looks of it and they're, they're just stuck to the they're just stuck to each other or wedged in place it would appear um, and then stuff inside just stuck down to it it's quite crazy really what actually goes into building a caravan because um, by all accounts it ain't much <laughs> um, so yeah it's going to be rather fun I'm going to say where does that go to I don't know good question that'd be one for that so I'm going to be a question to ask at some point um, but yeah, the basic idea is um, I want to get all of this here off, especially around the window. So I'll probably just try and concentrate, I suppose, on this entire front corner, um, which then means I can replace any wood that's iffy. And what I can also do is, because um, as we can see, right, we've got this bit of wood going all the way across there, which I would say... Um, may even be, yeah, because it's bolted to that, or well, probably, probably not stuck to it, but, looks like, but it's attached to that. So what we can do is, um, what I would like to do is anything at all that, um, Danny, it's enough. Anything that I'm going to plan to build anything onto, um, potentially find some slightly stronger wood. I mean, obviously the one of the issues is that we're limited by how thick you can go by the fact of it's got to fit in the gap. So whether or not maybe I just use something wider that way, just so it's got a bit more strength in it maybe, I'm not very sure. But I'm sort of thinking that um, while I'm in there, I might as well do whatever the hell I can to make the long, well, make the longevity a bit more. So just strengthen it all up a bit because I can't say it's going to hurt and a little bit here and there. Um, obviously do it all over the place it's going to add a lot more weight but generally speaking um, if you do it if you're planning to build something in a certain position then and you put a bit stronger wood behind it then I can't see it's going to be a problem it's just going to make things a little bit stronger so yeah so that's that corner um, and that's as far as I'm going to go tonight because um, I don't want to end up with humongous big problems so, because I don't want it to get to the point where I can't really, I, I, I don't, if I want to sleep in it, um, the night before I was a retro, I don't really want to be putting it apart too much, because essentially it could well be a nice little, like, little social communal area. Um, yeah, so, leave it there for now, but um, thanks for watching.